What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and we're gonna try to fix my son's power adapter for his guitar pedal board. And we're gonna plug it into here first. Well first, let's see if we have power. So we wanna to switch to AC volts. Stick our leads in there. Make sure you don't cross the leads or else you'll short out your breaker, and your meter. So we got 120 volts and it's steady so we should be able to get power first I want to read what kind of voltage this is this is kind of a oddball power adapter most power adapters are either 9 volt or 12 volt this is 18 volts 1 amp plug this in and let's check it out put my black negative lead on the ground and my positive lead in the center. I'm gonna to switch to DC volts. Now we're getting negative six volts, negative five, and it's dropping. That means it's really, I guess the ground's on this side. All right, so we got 3.4 volts, 3.1, nine all right so it's dropping i don't know why will cause a voltage drop maybe a, a leaky capacitor could do that because capacitors store energy right and if they leak they'll cause the voltage to drop or a voltage regulator but a voltage regulator a voltage regulator usually will make the voltage go to zero and back up and then go to zero again back up wouldn't gradually go down like that as far as i know it's more of a leaky capacitor. Let's open it up and find out. So there's one screw right there. I know that. Usually if you rub your finger across a sticker, you'll feel a recessed hole or a screw hole. It doesn't feel like there's a screw hole under this sticker. It could be right here. No, definitely not. So maybe it just, oh, it just comes off. Just squeeze that and it should pop off. Okay, there we go. There's good connections here, good connection there. These are good connections. No cracks in the solder. We're good there. Let's pull this out. Oh, we got a bulged capacitor. Do you see that? Right here. Feel that? Oh, <laughs> you can't feel it. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, you got, there's a bubble right here on top, but I'm gonna probably replace all the capacitors. Since we're in here, might as well replace them all and see if there's any cracks. Wow, there's a cracked solder joint too. Look at that. Actually, let me try out my brand new digital microscope. Brought to you by Link Micro. All right, and then Twist that. This looks kind of rough looking, right? A little tarnished. Oh, look, another cracked solder joint. Man, I could never see that with my naked eye. Good thing I have a digital microscope brought to you by Link Micro. See the link below. Ah, I don't see anything else. Let me know if you guys see any cracks. Post a comment below. This is not a live stream, by the way. So would I have to like read my... Oh, look, another cracked solder joint. Look at that. It's loose. There we go. So I found a couple cracked solder joints, a bulged capacitor... Nothing else really is too concerning. Let me pull this off. Yeah. So just a couple bad solder joints. And that's pretty much it. Let's check over here. 
Now, obviously, that one's bad. That's obvious. And yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, fix this thing. See if we can get it working, right? So, got some capacitors. This is 470 microfarads. Farads. I always say that wrong. Solder iron is still warming up. I think it can, I think it can. There it is. How's that look? This one looks fairly good. Okay. This one's kind of cracked. Any others? And it should be another one, I think. Else's looks pretty good. Yeah, so let's go ahead and replace those capacitors, right? Always make sure you know what direction it goes in. So the negative is on the left side. Oh, it is marked on the board, it says positive, the plus symbol. I always do one at a time because you don't want to mix them up. So I got 470, 25 volts. And we should have that here. 470, I got it. Save your applause till the end of the video, please. I need to concentrate. All right, so I got it. So 400. And 70 volts, so 470 microfarads, 25 volt. You can have a higher voltage, that's fine, but you should have the same value microfarads. Or you can go, in a power supply, you go a little bit higher if you wanted to, but it's always best to have the same value. this guy. All right, so the negative is facing toward me. It is marked. See the shaded area? That's the negative. This is C7. This is a 470 microfarads, 25 volt. Once again, we're going to read the, um, actually, I'll read it right now because you guys are probably like, hey, let's, let's read the capacitor and make sure it's bad, right? Here we go. Switch it to capacitor. Value, microfarads, capacitance, and put my black lead on the negative side. Shit, oh look, it is dropped, yeah, four, oops. It's like 430. It's reading around 430 and should be reading 470. And then this one, the first one that we pulled out probably is good, but I took it out just for the hell of it. This one is actually good. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and replace it. I mean, I could read it, but might as well replace it. All right, so that's reading 40, and this is 47, so I'm gonna replace it. It is a little bit low, but not a lot. Yeah, it's enough actually to change it. And you could probably go up to a hundred microfarads in a power supply, but I would try to keep it at the same value. Never go less than the value. 
always higher but um, always actually keep it at the same value but if you can't find that one 100 microfarads should be okay but always I highly recommend just keeping the same value when you're replacing parts in a circuit because I don't want to get sued you know so Tampa Tech says keep it at the same value don't listen to what I just said earlier <laughs> I don't want to be like you burned up my power supply you told me I could go a higher voltage in a power supply yeah should be all right but I don't know and I don't know all the scenarios or what kind of circuit you're working on so just in case keep the same value all right so let's go ahead and solder this up Now, is it usually ever the fuse, you guys are wondering, probably? For me, when I fix power adapters, it's rarely the fuse that goes bad. I mean, sometimes it could be bad, but just in my case, it's usually something like a voltage regulator, capacitor, those are, you know, or a broken connection. Those are probably the most common issues that go bad in a power adapter. I would say capacitors, Bad connections and then voltage regulator would be third most common. Oh, I just burned myself. I always burn myself in every video. It's like a signature thing I got going on. I'm not fixing something unless I burn myself by the end of the video. Okay, that looks good, right? I'm gonna push that in. What do you guys think? You think it's gonna work or no? Oh, that didn't sound good. That's probably gonna pop off later on. I think I stripped it out. Probably. All right, let's just plug it in and see what happens. If it blows up in my face, you guys get to see an entertaining video. If it doesn't, then you guys learn something, right? Win-win. Let's plug this in. It's not blowing up yet. By the way, this is the wow stick. It's really cool. Check out the link in the video description below. Here we go. Should read 18 volts. Oh, we're reading negative 18 volts. What does that mean? I'm reading it backwards. Eighteen volts, and let's wait. It's steady. It's good. Let's see how happy he is to get I should have had him fix this. I'm so stupid. Next time he's fixing this. You hear that, Dom? Next time you're fixing your own crap. I had him uh, help me fix the 3DS, but he had no patience. All right, let's go ahead and check him out and see how happy he is. All right, let's show the power strip is working. Should light up, right? Plug in my amp. Amp turns on, so the power strip is good. Hey, you're going to test something out if it works. You're going to play a riff or something. Yeah, of course. Turn on the amp. It works. Boom. 
Alright, so the problem I was having last time, the lights, the blue lights here were super dim. And also, uh, all my other pedals were turned on, but not the tuner pedal. The tuner pedal wouldn't turn on before you repaired it. So. Yeah, so yeah, bad capacitor. And some yeah. bad solder joints. Oh, let's go. Mm -hmm. Alright, play something cool. A good riff. I want to hear like a classic riff, like something badass. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video to other people in case they ever have a problem like this, and uh, leave a comment.